So if you own the X Real glasses, you want to go ahead and make sure you pick up this cable because this lets you be able to use your X Reels with your PC. Now, if you try to connect your X Reels to a USB C port on your PC, the first thing you realize is even when you go ahead and launch Nebula, which I'll go ahead and put in the description down below. Um, if you want to go ahead and pick this up for yourself, what you realize real fast is that Nebula will go ahead and fail for you if you try to just connect your um, x real Airs to your PC. You need another cable because it needs to be, as it says right here, a USB-C display port output. So you cannot just use your regular cable. So that's where this bad boy comes in right here. Now I'll leave a link down below in the description to this. This is actually found on Amazon. And pretty much what this does is it makes it a display port right here. As you guys can see. You plug this into a 3.0 USB-C port or USB port on your motherboard. Then it connects to your x real glasses just like that. So it plugs right in, and once you do that, it will go ahead and actually connect. If you try to just plug in your glasses normally, it will say connection failed a million times, and I'm sure if you've tried to connect your glasses to a PC, you've had this issue or had this problem, it's actually very easy to solve it with this bad boy right here. Now, why do you want to connect your PC to your glasses? Well, first off, you can actually get up to three virtual screens in front of you using the Nebula app. You have one, two, three. You can change the size, the distance, all that kind of good stuff. And also, the second thing, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. Um, now, it's not going to work for me because I'm not using that cable right now. I'm just going to utilize a regular USB-C cable. But once I connect it to my headset here, you can see this is what pops up. Now, if I go to start AR desktop, I'm connected to a regular USB-C cable um, and it won't work. So you have to be connected again to an actual cable I showed you right here, right? So first option you get once you go ahead and get into this is going to be a single screen. So this is just a single screen in front of you really cool but to be honest you don't want to get more work done doing that so i like to personally do two screens which it mirrors your main display and it gives you one external display that's because when you are in this ar world you're not really able to see outside of the ar world because the fact the screens are right in front of your face so i know it's kind of like in a way it takes away from the ar aspect of it but that's that the third option is going to be a triple monitor display, which is one, two, and three. You're able to separate the distance between each monitor, which, to be honest, is actually really cool. You're also able to do the distance from you, and you're able to curb them. The last two options, I really do not like. They're not that good, in my opinion. But the last two options it are ultra-wide monitors, so 1 and 2. And then you can set it to 72 hertz, or you can set it to 90 hertz uh, refresh rate. I would recommend setting your um, display captures to the same exact oh, your display settings um, in Windows. Just go to display just like that, and then go to this. And setting this, if you go to, um, where is it? Display, res not display resolution. Um, manage display, sorry. Wait, nope, that's that. <laughs> okay. Doing this while with my glasses off is not as my idea. Go to advanced displays, and then once you go to that, you can actually set the resolution right here. So that's what I recommend doing, is setting your resolution just like that. But as you can see, once you go ahead and do that, it will all, you know, work better and it won't glitch and have problems. Uh, you just want to make sure all your displays are set to the same resolution. For example, I'm rocking a 160 hertz monitor right here, a 60 hertz right here. And these bad boys can go up to 120. So that's kind of the setup right there. But once you do that, again, like I said, you're able to actually have it right in front of your face. Which, for workflow purposes, actually works out uh, very, very good. The one thing I like about the X uh, X Real when it comes to using my PC is the speakers. Because I do have great speakers. I have a surround sound speaker system. But when I'm recording videos sometimes, I record like 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. 
and I don't want the rest of the house to hear my whole recording, right? And I don't, or I don't want the, not my recording. I don't want to, uh, when I'm playing like, you know, stuff on YouTube, I don't want the rest of the house to hear it, right? And I like to have my stuff up loud, like to really, you know, go into it. So that's why, another reason why I like to use the X-Real glasses with my PC. Now, of course, could I get headphones? Yes. Could I get earphones? Absolutely. But it's just cool just to have these on. I have prescription lenses in them. So just like my regular glasses, I can see perfectly fine. Have my three monitors set up right here and I am ready to go and everything is perfect. So that's going to be that, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more tutorials revolved around any of the three AR glasses, that's right. I have the Vitro ones, the Rokids, and I have this bad boy right here, which is the X-Reels. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.